Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Govberg, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Jeger Le Coult Grand Reverso Ultra Thin Duo Face Bleu. You can see this 2013 novelty and boutique exclusive on our website, govbergwatches.com. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our app, Govberg On Time, for the latest news, views, reviews, and multimedia of luxury watches. Now, on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this watch is remarkably proportioned. It has the classic ratios of the original 1931 Reverso, but unlike that 38 millimeter lug to lug watch, this 47.5 millimeter lug to lug ground is a far more contemporary presence on the wrist. It fills out the wrist. It has a little bit more shoulder, a little bit more span. It's a little bit more masculine and certainly more 21st century, but it doesn't give up that golden ratio proportion that remains the heart and soul of the Reverso's appeal. You can also see that it's remarkably thin. Living up to its name, Ultra Thin, it's only 9.5 millimeters thick, despite a rotating case on a separate chassis with a movement that has two dials. 9.5 millimeters thick, you can also see with a curved flank, it easily slides underneath any kind of formal cuff or tight sleeve. Now across the case, it is 27.5 millimeters, not counting the pusher corrector or the crown. Because it does have that rotating case with a separate chassis beneath, it is heftier than a conventional steel watch. It also wears a little bit different as the strap as you can see to good effect, is somewhat countersunk into the lugs. You can see how the strap looks completely continuous, there being no daylight between strap and case. Now it does have a little bit of a tendency because of how high the lugs are drilled to flare out. And this being a completely new alligator leather strap, I don't want to crank it down. I'll let the first owner have the maiden voyage in that respect. Also worth mentioning that although some examples of these watches were sold with the Casafaliano Cordovan strap, this is actually a conventional Jeger Le Coult minimally bolstered rectangular scale monotone stitch alligator leather. Just to be completely clear about what comes with this watch. It also comes with a beautifully traditional pin buckle. For easy sizing on the fly, it doesn't get any more traditional, any more reverso than this. Now the case of the watch, as mentioned, is both exceptionally thin and grand. Larger than the 1931 predecessor by almost 10 millimeters from lug to lug. The watch also features remarkable refinements on the dial, which derives from two separate inspirations. Now, the watch, which is signed Reverso and not Le Coult or Jeger Le Coult, takes its cues from the 1931 Reverso, which was assembled by JLC, but as far as components were concerned, pretty much was an example of traditional Swiss etablissage, not in-house production. Now by 1933, JLC had taken it in-house with their own movement, and this blue lacquered dial, although in layout may be inspired by 1931, in color it's inspired by a 1933 watch that had the JLC small second subdial, and in fact, JLC's first in-house reverso movement, so it draws from both 1931 and 1933 in its inspiration, and it is a gorgeous inspiration with a traditional railroad minute track outboard, beautiful white gold broadsword hands, white gold applied dart indices, and a lacquered blue dial for incredible luster. Lacquered dials look very much like enamel. They have a seemingly perma-wet appearance, looking as though they're wet, looking almost as though you stare into them rather than at them. They have that kind of impact. Now one of the interesting changes that came about in 2013 was the incorporation of a more gracefully profiled pusher corrector for the second time zone on the case back. Now formerly it would have been a rather incongruous rectangle sticking out of the case or a dimpled pusher adjuster. Here JLC maintains the convenience of the pusher adjuster rather than the dimple, but it removes some of the severity of that hard-edged rectangle by creating a rounded pusher adjuster that blends rather more successfully into the profile of the case. Now when you turn the watch over you see the signature horizontal gadrons continue, but the look of the dial is transformed. Now you can see Clou de Paris rose lathe work around the outer circumference of these two subdials. At center, we have lacquered indices. Again, broadsword hands though, but here, loomed. All three hands are loomed, so you can see this watch at night in low or no light. Now, what you'll also note is that there is a 24-hour subdial at 6 o'clock, so you know whether you're looking at AM or PM in the reference time zone. Now, the pusher corrector allows rapid one-hour incremental adjustments on both registers, independent of the time zone on the front. Inside, you'll find a 21-joule, 180-part manual wind 
completely in-house Jeger LeCoultre caliber 854-1. Now it's a traditional 21,600 vibration per hour beat rate with a 45 hour power reserve and it has heritage stretching back to the very first Reverso Duo of 1994. It's a true veteran and it has the provenance of Le Sentier's finest artisans within its bridges, plates, and wheels. So you're really getting the best of the best. The look that's timeless, the engineering that's contemporary, the versatility that goes with anything from formal to informal, and of course, a legendary name, Reverso. You can see this 2013 boutique exclusive, Dual Face Bleu, on our website, gavbergwatches.com.